This octave mandolin was built shortly after the very first fern that Bruce and his crew built for me. And this is a bighorn octave mandolin. It has the same coloration, the desert dawn finish, that the first instrument did. And you'll notice how beautiful that color is on a larger instrument. Notice the deepness and the richness in tone. This instrument is tuned an octave lower than the mandolin, and this particular neck is about a 22 inch scale length, which is in about the middle of the range that you would normally choose for octave mandolins. The back of this instrument is a two piece quarter sawn maple, as the first fern was, and you can see the book matching of the grain. And there was one special thing about this octave mandolin that came out as it was being designed in the factory. This particular instrument has a pit guard that's made from that same piece of wood that was in my great grandfather's homestead cabin. And when they cut the piece of wood and laid it next to the fingerboard, you see that there are some kind of blonde colors in the ebony on the fingerboard of this instrument. And they sent me a picture and said, do you want to finish this fingerboard? or excuse me, the pit guard, because next to this fingerboard it looks gorgeous in the natural color. So we chose to stay with the natural color of the wood as it was cut from the block and just finish it in lacquer to protect it. And you'll notice the singed edges, the charcoal colored edges that are actually from the forest fire where it had burned that wood inside the charcoal. So this is the bighorn octave mandolin. Everybody needs an octave mandolin. And now I think we're going to go back and play all of these instruments and play the same song on each one so that you can really hear the differences in tone between them. <laughs> 